Hi everyone again. Um, I thought what I'd do today, seeing as it's a massively requested, is a quick look on the eyes. And obviously, I've done one eye, I've done the rest of my face. There's just the right eye left to do. Um, I thought the easiest thing to do if I want to be able to teach this to people is to start off very, very simple and then progressively advance it a little bit more. So, all I've done today is natural lashes, I've not put any false lashes on. Um, not done anything too smoky, no eyeliner, just very, very basic, very classic, so you can get used to applying the eyeshadow where it goes and the blending technique. Um, so it might be a little bit boring if you wanted something a bit more advanced, but I thought this will be the easiest way for someone to pick up learning the new skill. Um, so I'll just crack on and get started with it. Um, the brushes that I use mainly are the real technique ones. I use these face the face brushes as well. You can get a set of them online for I think it's like £50 and that will last you literally forever they just need cleaning I'd say if you're not a makeup artist like me you have to clean them all the time but I'd say maybe once a week something like that just because of the bacteria build up um, so all this is is a little buffing brush and the first thing you want to do is make sure the eyes primed which means there's a base on your eyes so the eyeshadow isn't going to crease and it's going to last a lot longer so my base at the minute is just the foundation and powder that I've put on the rest of my face that's fine you can use an eye primer so I know the Urban Decay one's really good but I just don't like using it, it doesn't work for me but you'll find that once you start um, experimenting with products and stuff so the first thing that you want to do and I'm all I'm using today is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette because I think you, with this palette you can create so many different looks and if anyone was looking for a palette which is definitely worth the money I know these are quite expensive but um, I definitely recommend them for a first palette I know the basics one's really good as well but I love the Naked 2 um, so all I'm going to start with is a transition colour this is the colour that's going to go in the crease of your eye this is going to make your eyes really stand out make them look really awake um, and all it is is this colour called Tease here. It's a matte colour. The number one rule is don't go with a transition colour that's shimmer. Um, it just doesn't look right, it doesn't complement any skin tone. Um, it, it just doesn't look very professional. So if you stick with a matte colour and this one's like a mauve type colour, um, which is a really good transition, I use this for a lot of different looks. So all you're going to do with it is take in the crease, which is the hooded bit of your eye. And just keep going backward and forward. And then all you want to do is take a blending brush, it's literally just a fluffy brush, and blend that. You can blend as much as you want, it's completely up to you and what you want the look to look like. So that's it so far. Then you're going to go in with your base colour which sits on your eyelid. Um, I recommend for this, it's always got to be lighter, the lightest colour that you put on your eye anyway, other than the highlighter. Um, so it's like your eyelid's the light colour, then the transition's the medium and then the outer corner is the darker colour. If you try and stick by that basis and um, then you'll get used to it and then you can start experimenting with colours once you're used to what you're doing and you feel a bit more confident. So all I'm going to take is this colour which is called Booty Call which is a very very light colour but golds work for this as well and take that all over the base up to where you applied the transition colour. And once again go back in with a blending brush and blend that in together. Everything to do with makeup is about the is about the blending. I don't know whether you've heard that before, but it is 100 percent true. And finally, I'm gonna go in with this dark colour. I can't see what it's called. Oh, snake bite, which is the darkest brown. Um, like I said, the darkest colour goes on the outside of your eye. And all you're gonna do is like a V shape like this, you just blend that dark colour into the corner of your eye. You can take it as close inwards as possible but I wouldn't say before the beginning of your pupil. Usually as well I will mention that 
I always do eyes first before I do the rest of my face but for the sake of the video and showing you what I thought would be best ways to show you I've, I've purely done my face first for that reason but because of the fallout that you can sometimes get especially when you're using darker colours I always recommend doing your eye makeup first and also it helps to clean it up afterwards and then you can go on to your face makeup it'll just work a lot easier for yourself so we're just back and forward adding more product if you need to and then once again blending that all in together just notice as well I've got a mark on my face this is why I like doing eye makeup first really annoying because now I can see a white patch. There we go. Then all you're going to do is take a face wipe or the corner of a cotton bud that's damp and then neaten up the outside of your eye. Now this is the point where I'd usually, with any other colours, if I was doing a more intense look, I'd go in with liquid eyeliner, but I'll do another video on that soon. Um, so all I'm going to do instead is take a lash primer and prime, actually no first, I'm going to take lash curlers and curl my eyelashes. Before I go on with the eyeshadow, you're going to get a small brush like this and the same three colours that you've used on the top of your eye you're going to line under your eye with. Not everyone likes doing this but I think it looks so much nicer. So the darker colour on the outside, I just think it makes everything blend nicer together. Then the transition colour in the middle and then the lighter colour beginning and then if you blend that in with a small brush it doesn't have to be super neat because I think it can look quite nice when it's quite smouldery as well um, and also take the highlighter so this is the MAC soft and gentle on the inner corner of your eye because it's so light it just makes your eye look so much wider and also take it on your brow bone And blending again. Now take your lash primer Let that dry for a couple of seconds and this is what it looks like so far. And then go in with your mascara. Probably best that you tie your hair up before you start doing this. And you can go ahead and add, add um, pencil eyeliner on the bottom if you want to, but the whole idea is that your eyes look really open, really awake, but really, really nice. So it's a really subtle eyeshadow. 
and that's the finished look. So if there's any more questions that you have or what kind of look you want me to do next then please just let me know. Um, otherwise share the video again, um, I'll upload to YouTube, like it, comment on it, any feedback is greatly appreciated. Um, and I think maybe my next video will be um, a face video, so how to get the flawless looking face once your eyes are done. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all soon.